Chelsea Denofa, and I'm driving the Nitto Tire BC Racing Mazda RX-8. So I started drifting when I was like 15, so I had to have my mom drive my little 240 to the track for me, and she would just sit and watch while I drove and then drive me home. So it was a little bit different. And then in high school, I was always driving my race car to school because like, I didn't have enough money to build two cars. And then when we got into drifting, you know, after the first year of it and seeing that, hey, like in this Florida area where I was driving, like I'm kind of like one of the top five guys, so let's try to step it up to the next level and the next level. And we started driving like some of the more grassroots series that travel around the U.S. Um, and then we kind of stepped into Formula D this year because we feel like we were really ready after winning two XDC championships the last two years. Um, this year we jumped into it full force and I think that uh, waiting as long as we did to get in there really allowed us to be now like already sitting top 16 our rookie year so we're pretty stoked. So the BMW versus the RX-8 has been the question all weekend from pretty much everyone. The BMW, since I built it and have been like R&Ding that car from the ground up for the past like four years, I know every single millimeter and inch of the car. Like when the car doesn't do something right, I know exactly what to do or exactly what to change in my driving style. And you know, I have a team that helps me, but I can just say, hey guys, let's take a little bit out of the shock here. Let's take a little bit out of the sway bar here, some tire pressure and adjust it. With this car, I'm still learning all of that. But like since we've tested with this car and driven, every little thing that we've done to change and make better has drastically made a difference in the drivability of the car. So you know, this car is set up to do a lot more than my BMW was able to. And I think that could be a budget thing as well. You know, we kind of figured it out over the course of four years with my car. And in this car, we're, you know, hey, let's adjust the shock one notch. Boom, it's there, it feels great. Like, it's, it's that little bit more because the chassis is more refined, the car is more refined, the power band is larger. So we can really make those small changes and have a bigger effect than the BMW had. I think the next step is to just keep progressing everything. I, I think that drifting is only at about 50% of its potential right now, and the sky is the limit with it. So if we can keep doing the marketing, getting more fans out, and making the cars faster and do more things, and the judges at Formula D seem pretty open to change some stuff up to make it more of a crowd-pleasing sport and keeping the drivers happy. So I think it's just progression after progression. I, I don't really see myself doing any other types of racing as a main thing. You know, I like to do road racing on the side and stuff and maybe get into some rally, but this is like really what I want to do. So I'd like to keep progressing it and, and getting to the top of everything.